Going to the second part of painting King John from the Barnes War range. Um, obviously, got him undercoated there, sitting on a few pots ready to be used as handle. Basically, the range of colours I'm going to really sort of use for him are GW ones. So we've got Fist on Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, a Wild Rider Red, which is quite a bit more like an orange, and a wash of right on flesh shit. So, I'm get the paints mixed up. Get the first one on, which is obviously just just to do the barding on the horse and generally any cloth work or the top or the relief, whatever you wish to call it. Thin this down a bit. I'm just going to take it nice and easy with this because I don't want to rush it. Because usually I would just like splosh paint on, hope for the best, but I'm trying to be a bit neater. And also give the squid more brushes in order to run out and see what happens with these. So for the price you pay for these kind of brushes, you don't want to just literally dip it all into the, the paint pot and sometimes I find it takes more than one coat well, that's because I thin the paints quite heavily so See, it's quite thin bits, as I say, it's showing that you have to go over it a couple of times. But I don't mind that. Okay, that's a general idea on. King John himself and the same with the horse. The horse itself has just got pure red, red barding. So I'll get a bit more paint on the roof. Again, thin it down nicely and just see what happens. Some people are probably watching it and going up and down, left and right, not falling the same way all the time. It's just because I'm on the camera, it's, it's very weird to see what I'm trying to do. So I could use a bigger brush for this, but as I say, I just want to take my time with it and just see how paint was on these brushes. So that's giving you the general idea of the, the, the colour. Now it will tone down. It's actually very bright with the lights on. This will tone down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this this base colour, come back and then we'll sort of show how to do the highlights. Um, but I'm an apology. When I was doing uh, King John I actually realised, you know, oh this cloak has to be red too. And then I went, hold on. And I went back and checked, and yeah, I kind of made a mistake. I was trying to do the whole top art and everything, and cloak red, which, with the reference bits that I have, is wrong. He did have a red cloak, but uh, the rest of his uh, top art, or whatever you wish to call it, was a different colour. So, we had to go back in, and <laughs> fix that up a wee bit. So, apologies for that. One of the people were watching the first bit. Um, so, yeah, what we've done, um, of course, was completely... Done with the base colour, 
Um, it is actually darker than what it actually looks like on the camera. It's because of the backlighting I've got at the minute, which is just basically the, the normal natural light. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a wee bit of um, a first highlight. And it's not that colour. Okay, so the one we're going to be using says Evil Sun Scarlet. Now I did do some of the all the work on the horse, uh, namely any bits of the horse you can actually see, uh, the saddle cloth and any of the reins work. Now that was done using Rhinox Hide. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll as I finish each wee bit, um, I'll have done the next level of um, the horse or anything like that. There's not a lot on it, so there's not really much go point in going in depth on it. Um, it's more just basically getting the body and painted. So, I get a bit of paint. And usually what I will do is I'll mix in some of the Mephisto just to make it blend a bit easier. So I'll try and do it a little bit more on the correct parts of King John. And get this close enough of the focus. It might seem that colour is again going on maybe a bit too heavily on the on the edges, but with the wash, it'll just take that whole brightness out of it, I suppose, and it'll tone it down quite nicely. Yeah, I'm just taking my time, nice and time. This is a different um, one of the Kaminsky's, it's just a small. I'll squid more brushes, I should say. And it's really, as always, just trying to pick out those raised areas or the edges. And with this, you can go as heavy as you want, as light as you wish. It's up to you. It's always up to how people want their figures to look. This is just basically a bit of a guide of what colours you can use. And of course, just literally the way I would paint them. Oops, a bit heavy. As long as you know yourself, so if you make a mistake or something, you can always go back over little bits and pieces. Which might have to happen on this piece, which I think a bit a bit too heavy. So I can get that to focus. There was so much natural light coming in behind me, it's a bit awkward to see the, the highlights I've got. You can't see, see the shadowing and a little bit of the depth to it. Then you would do the same thing again with the tubbard on the horse. Let's basically show some of the raised folds. It's in here just to give an example.
these onto it a little wee bit so it's easier to see. So you can see a little bit of the highlight on the very edge of the cloth. You can see. It's quite difficult to see, you can't see some of it. So what I'll do is I'll finish that off and I'll basically come back in the next stage. I'll also have, as I say, the next bit of the horse parts done. So you will see some uh, lighter colours onto the top of that. And I'll just see what colours I'm going to use. It will probably be more fine brown, just to get, give a bit of a highlight and then mix a little bit of grey into that. But we'll come back once we have all that wee bits done. So we're now going to sort of look at the uh, final highlight of the cloaks. So the lighting's got a bit better, it's got a bit darker, so um, <clears throat> you can sort of see the darker colours in there with the lighter. Um, let's see if we can show a bit more on the horse. It doesn't show up as well on the horse. There's not a lot, oh, there's a lot more flat areas on the horse, so that's probably the reasons. So, what we shall do... So the next colour we're going to be using is the white red or red, so it's a bit more of an orange colour. I'll just do this on the cloak, and I haven't done a few other colours on the king himself, just to try and get things speeded up a wee bit. Um, so we'll transfer most of the rest of the painting tutorial over onto him. The horse is near finished. Yeah, it's again, it's just generally the same idea. Really, just hitting the very, very edge of it, highlight, raised or highlighted area. Shows up. It is actually still quite hard to see. Red is actually just not showing too great up on the cloak area. So what I'll do is I'll finish that off. I'll do the horse as well, the body. <clears throat> I have picked um, actually the, obviously the blue and stuff like that to start on the, the cloak now that's an old regal blue which is really dark blue from gw um i'll sort of be highlighting and mix that up probably with um a bit of the autolock blue if i can pronounce that right which is probably wrong so i'll mix that in with some of the darker blue probably actually pick up a gray blue and um, with that do a bit of a mix so when we come back hopefully what will happen is is then that'll be the cloak done now i've done the blue on that just to show what the blue will look like and you can see some of the leather work and stuff like that has already been done. So we'll get on with that. We'll get that sorted. And then obviously it's just mainly finishing off uh, the king himself. Yeah, the horse is pretty much done. Um, I'm not going to be doing um, any of the emblems and stuff and everything else and on the boarding namely due to the fact that I'm absolutely rubbish at doing that at free hands so I need to do a bit of practice so we'll get the horse completely finished um, I'll do the orange one and actually do the wash on it so it'll actually show you a bit of hopefully a bit of comparison alright so we'll get on to that one next okay so 
the horse um, has been completely done. You can still see that um, some of the regulant uh, flesh yet is still drying on that. So that will tone down quite nicely. It's just starting to sort of pull a little. So I'll have to get a bit of a wet brush into there. So I won't... I'll also get it all over the brown as well. So that should tone everything down quite nicely. Now I haven't done it on the cloak. Um, I went back over it again um, with a little bit more of just the pure white rider. And all they're mixing it. And uh, just give it an actual little bit of a highlight. Now, as you can see, finished off the proper uh, tabard. Um, what I actually did was, because it's an old regal blue, um, I just basically used a McCrag blue over the top of it and then mixed a little bit of I'll take blue in. Probably pronounce that wrong, but I don't know. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to pick an old dark flesh colour. So, a bit of Bugman's Glow. We're going to do a bit of work on the flesh. A little bit of brush, a little bit of water. I just try to find it. Obviously, wars faces. I usually do leave um, where possible the black end where the eyes would be so I don't actually paint in there with the flesh more common possible so that's the base colour and that's done now what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit fancy we're going to put a bit of a trim on the end of the tabard because he is the king after all I'm going to go back to rhinox oxide because I'm going to do this as gold He's a bit flush. So to define where I'm going to put this, so it's got a paint with the water. So basically what this will be is the very edge will be trimmed off in gold. And also where his band is, I think I've done that. Obviously, a few other places where we picked out gold as well. So, we'll do that with a brown base on those as well. So, hopefully, I'll clean the brush off. But this time, the flesh should be. We've done it should be dry. So go on to the next colour. There's a kid in flesh tone. Okay, a bit of water. A bit of paint. A bit too heavy on that. Generally just going over it. I'm trying to hit a bit more of the rays there is. 
obviously tidy that up so I can get in close because behind the camera at the minute it's a bit awkward. Now they do say with the squid more brushes for the sable not to use them for metallics. So um taking that on board I think they've actually done a couple of videos and stuff on the reasons why and how it affects the the sable. So I'm gonna take an old brush an old neck cheap brush I've also picked up and what we're gonna do is if I can find a metallic We're going to look at at least doing the chain mail to get that out of the way. And then obviously we'll be doing the gold as well. So what I'll do is I'll pause it here and I'll get the colours set together so we can just do it and hopefully it'll be sort of like the final run. Back shortly. So I've gone and grabbed some metallics. So for the chain mail it's going to be just the lead belcher and hunted out uh, some of my old shining gold which actually still has some paint in it which does work. Which is quite surprising. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the sort of fine detailed work with um, the gold first to get it out of the way. So obviously, cloak brooch, the brooch for the cloak. Also, crown. Use the finer brush for this. Well, I'm going to be doing the hair later anyway. Of course. The trim at the very bottom of the cloak. So that's the gold done, and what's going to be done as gold. So the next one is just putting the lead belt on, which is for the chain, mate. And he's pretty much done. To say only I think it'll be left to be the hair and stuff like that, and just a few final run round to see, make sure I haven't hit anywhere I'm not supposed to. So just anywhere that has chain milk, any particular metal. Put it all on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, finish that. I'll put, find a quick wash over the uh, the likes of the cloak and stuff like that. And what we'll do is I'll come back when it's completely finished. And I've got them glued back onto the horse. Okay. So finally got them on his base and look onto the horse. So a few bits of pieces need sort of tidied up on them a wee bit. And sort of cleaned up a wee bit. It is a lot darker, a lot more detail. Um, I can actually be seen under all the light. And we're still trying to work on that. But not be enough, finished. I'll get his base done. And then I'll join the rest of the forces that he has under him. And I'll hope to get gaming with him shortly. Thanks very much for watching. If you do like the move, uh, movie, if you do like the videos, do hit the like button and uh, remember to subscribe. And also stick a comment down in below if you have anything you want to ask. Cheers.